Boruto episode 23, people. Alright, there are no words to describe how much I like this episode. But first of all, context. Sakura is one of my favorite Naruto characters. I've always been a Sakura fan. And one of my biggest gripes with the manga was that Kishimoto made very clear Sakura and Shin had this, like, epic battle. And he was just like, but I can't, I want to draw it. Because, because, because why? Because that was, like, a real... Because a battle between Sakura and Sakura is a lot stronger than Shin. But it's not so big that you could nerf her to the point... It, she, there's no le knock, there's no level for Sakura where she can still beat Jin without having like a really detailed battle, and I don't think Kitimo wanted to draw one. Yeah. Like, but uh, the scene when Sakura fought Jin was animated by the guy I believe who did Naruto, uh, Obito versus Kakashi and Naruto versus Sasuke, which explains the fluid animation. I mean, it just it looked so good. Sakura looked amazing in the like visually. Shin looked great. Sakura looked great. The whole fight looked great. The visuals were great. My favorite scene in this episode when Sakura grabs the uh, bowl, grabs the uh, pillar, digs her nails and digs her fingers into it, picks it up, throws it at this bastard, and puts the paper bomb on it. Shin looks down and he's like, Wait, she put a paper bomb on this thing? What, who am I fighting? What have I gotten myself into? The Sakura wrecks Jin. And I want to make something clear here. If you had not read the Sakura Light novel, like I'm currently reading, you have no right to speak. Not, I mean, this doesn't, Boruto can, includes the Light novel the canon. Mikakashi knew this is Purple Lightning or Lightning Style Violet Bolt in this anime. Alright, but aside for that, this is what happened, alright? This, this is a big deal. Sakura held back in this fight. Naruto, Sake, and Sakura have been holding back an entire arc. They have been nerfed. They, oh, let me tell you something. If Sakura went all out, she would beat all of these people easily by herself. Sakura, in her light novel, tanked the tail beef bomb. I mean, she tanked the tail beef bomb. She needs to be able to beat the hell out of somebody while simultaneously healing them. Sakura is way stronger than this. Sakura in her light novel is is Sanin level plus. And Sanin are typically and all three of the Sanin were Hokage candidates. This guy was stronger than a root. This guy would probably become well, the person Sakura fought in her light novel was probably around your eye or Uchimaru level. Probably stronger. Sakura no joke. And she annihilated him and tainted it half easily. Now, so that 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 stuff was great. Um, I loved the stuff with I loved the bit with Naruto. There wasn't much Naruto in this. I did like the thing where he grabbed the kunai and he had the Kurama eyes and he just let Shin Uchiha see Kurama. That was awesome. Um, what else happened that was really cool? Oh, but fight. The fight between uh, Sake and Jin with Sakura, the tag team of Sakura and Sake versus Sakura and uh, Jin, I'm with the Sakura. Versus Jin was amazing. Probably my favorite scene, probably my second, one of my, probably my third favorite scene of the episode is the scene when uh, Sakura runs away. And I, even I was like, is Sakura running away? Sakura wouldn't run away. What the hell is going on? And Sake used his Ritagon to switch places. And she nails Shin in the face. Then Sasuke just walks over and he's about to cut him down. And then Shin shows up. And this is my second favorite thing. But then Shin, the clone, shows up. And Sasuke raises his... See, Shin, the clone, gets in the way and protects his father. Um, Sasuke raises his door and proclaims, I'm not as soft as Naruto is. Now, this is what Sakura was talking about. And you know what? Sakura was right. A lot of people said Sakura was wrong. Looking at the way this affected Murata, I think we were being a bit judgmental as a fan base. Because we had been... It's not like we know the character of Murata very well. We had no idea how she would have reacted to this information. Sakura has been great here for 10 years. Sakura knows Murata better than we at the audience do. She just does. At this moment in time, at least. So, Sakura did not believe Murata would take it very well. Finally got her father with a mass murderer. 
She was right. Geraya actually started crying when she realized her dad was about to kill a small child. Which, okay, this is the thing. Many people will say it is bad being Naruto was always very gritty, and I agree with that. But, I think you have to understand, Dorado grew up in an age of peace. It would be equivalent to if you or, you or I saw our mother or our father about to see, about to kill a small child for something that isn't even 100% their fault. This would be equivalent to that, alright? Really a big deal. Now, what else happened? Um, Naruto had that all the moment with Kurama, um, but there wasn't much more to the site. Oh, there was the thing when Sarada, um, but, but Shane was going to make Takara heal him again. It was like, you're coming with me, medical ninja, and he was gonna, uh, come away. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that just do. It teleported her away. And Saki was like, Sarada. And Sarada ran, she punched it, and she leveled the ground, and it was so cool. Dorada is so is such a better character than Boruto. She is just Dorada so much better. So much better. I love Dorada Uchiha so much. She is so good. She is so good. But then you have Dorada show up, then you have Sak then you have Sake show up with his uh then you have Sake remove the fight for Sakura's arm, that thing was great. I really like the thing where you show Sake showing affection for Sakura. Maybe it's Joe Serata as a character. That her parents do care. Sake explained that the the proof that they care about each other, the proof of their bond is Serata's existence. Which I like. I think that's still kind of like one of those moments that gets you right away. You're like, you right You're hitting me in the field. But that is bullshit, and it does not answer Serata's question at all. So Serata actually doesn't care about that. Um, then we get a very interesting scene. We get the scene of them hanging out, eating dinner, really nice scene. Um, what else happened? Then we see the goodbye to Sake scene. Very important scene. Very important scene. So Sake hugs Serata. Really nice. I like how there was just no music. Just, he hugs her, and then he gives her the forehead tap. And Serata flashes back to when she and Sakura were talking years ago. And she remembers that Sakura said, to her and Sakura, to people in their family, there is something better than a, than a kid. Serata doesn't understand what that is. And Sakura proclaims that she will understand when she makes Sasuke. And then she, she taps her on the forehead. I like that that is like the ultimate form of affection in this family. I think that's amazing symbolically. Because that is the, what Itachi would always do for Sake. So I really like that. And I don't think Sarada knows the implications behind that. How much the forehead tap means to Sake. Sarada and Takara are the only people Sake ever forehead. Not even Naruto gets the forehead tap. Even though we all know Naruto wants the forehead tap, he wants to be, he wants to get tapped by Sasuke. We all know he does. But um, no, they're the only people that ever get it. It's a really good chapter, guys. It's not chapter episode. It's really good. Bojo episode twenty three. Then we end. It was weird. We get then we get an ending. It's a really weird ending. It's an extended ending of Dorado walking. And at the end, she grabs her parents' hand and they walk off together. It's really nice. Um, I did find it funny when Sakura was waiting, she had her forehead all ready to get tapped, and Sakura was like, I'll be going now. He's like, I'm a, Sake is a troll. Sake is a real ass troll. But then we get, uh, at the end of the episode, we get like an end credit scene, essentially. By the way, they're going to be coming more common in anime. But, uh, so we see, uh, Boruto, sit down and clack with Boruto. They're sitting next to each other. Dorada's like this. Imitating Sake. I really like how Sake, I really like how she's imitating Sake. And she said, and she said, I decided what my goal is. I'm going to become Hokage. And then in the preview, they said, Boruto and Sarada, those two are quite a pair. Make of that what you will. They are 12. I'm not the biggest fan of shipping 12 year olds, but I do ship it. 
The point is that make of that mind what you will. You can either take it as a Naruto and Sasuke friendship rivalry line, or a or a little make it or the ones like getting together. I don't really care how you take that line, but it is stated they make a good pair, and we see Sarada talking to Konohamaru. She reveals she wants to become the Hokage, so she can share food with everybody in the village. Wait, I think it's more of a metaphor thing. She wants to bond with everybody. She wants to be that person that that uh, she can deliver her food. Everybody will know her name. They'll want to talk to her, and she can talk to them. She wants to be friends with everybody. Essentially, she wants to carry on Naruto's dream. Um, honestly, I wish there could have been a scene where Naruto showed up and saved Sakura and been like, "I won't allow you to hurt a member of my family." Everybody in the village is my family, and it's a Hokage duty to protect everybody and keep them safe. But it very much made it look... Naruto kind of just, just acted like he was just along for the ride. But you could have done something like that. You could have done, like, Naruto's reasoning, his moral reason for wanting to help save Sakura about you know, the meaning of being a Hokage. That could have been motivation for Naruto to do it. I think that would have been really cool. Like, I see, like imagine a scene... Naruto stopping and you it's just white and it's just whites around and then it's just Sakura, Naruto blocking an attack and his Hokage cake flowing in the wind and Sarada decides, I want to be like that. Somebody can protect everybody. But you know what? A laugh. It was a really good episode. 10 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. And you did leave it a like, subscribe for more videos. The One Piece Nation signing out. These will typically be later now. The reason they were getting out at the time they did we we'll gonna on summer vacation. Then it's over now. So now I uh, I have a half day of school on Wednesday. So I'll get them out by around one. Hope you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, all that. Peace out, guys.